Hey, what's up? Fulvio Panese here for Alpha Studios and you're watching our new video, Paper Templates. Today, I want to show you the process I use in making a paper template. Keep in mind that my techniques and materials may not be canon. So, if you want to try this at home, well, it's your call, fellas. Okay, let's start with continuous form paper. It was used by needle printers and it's probably older than I am. Well, it's probably older than my dad. Well, whatever. Anyways, you know, as the same would suggest, it's continuous. Duh! Not really. This feature is nice because if you need to make a larger template, you won't have to tape every side of the sheet of paper, but only one, like this. See, this one is a pretty large template and I just had to tape this side, okay? See, that's the continuous form right here. And this side is the one I taped. Anyways, okay. So while working with this, I found really, really um, useful working with a ruler, a smaller ruler, but if it's transparent, it's better. Actually, you know, if you don't own, if you don't have um, a transparent ruler, then you're screwed. Uh, you might as well stop watching this video, really. I mean, just go. Do, do some other stuff. No, okay. Um, then you have the tailoring ruler. Nice. Also works like a whip. Ah! Ah! No, okay. And one thing, it's the goniometer. It's really useful to track the angles, see how big they are. And I say that's about it. Let's say we want to make a Saint Seiya shoulder bell template to make a Forex Sintra copy. We start from taking our model right here, understanding the shapes and global look. Also understanding that getting 3D shapes into a 2D once is a hell of a job. And you might as well probably die as you try and you never make it. But if you think you're brave enough and you want to try this really bad, you can start from taking this, okay, right here, take the shoulder bell. It's nice, it's curved. Yeah, it's gonna be a pain in the neck, but it's okay, we'll try. How long is, is this shoulder bell? Okay, we'll see it's about like 2.7 centimeters. And I know that the scale of the model is 1 eighth, so I need to multiply by uh, 12. I need to multiply times 12.5, but I'll just make it 12. So it's gonna be 32.4. Okay, so we can start from here. Okay, so as you can see, here is my tape. I put together two, see, two sheets of continuous paper, and then I took the lines and I made the template. I didn't show you how I did it because it's boring and it's like everybody has to do their own. Uh, it's not something you can learn from watching me doing it, so I'd say probably is good. So what you want to do is take it and try to see if it looks good on your model, on your armor. So we take this to the armor and we see if it's, if it's okay, if it's fine. Okay, now everybody say hi to Joe. What's up Joe? My best friend, my assistant, really love him. Yeah. Anyways, we're not here to talk about this. So, I I'm taking my paper template and I'm putting it on the, the armor to see if it looks okay. Yeah, I don't want it to be perfect, I just have to look okay so I can go on 
Okay, well, it looks good to me. You know, right propor proportions, right measures, right size. So, yeah, looks fine. But don't worry, you'll find out that in a few minutes, it won't be fine anymore. If you're like me, Dicky, it's gonna be your greatest hell. But it's okay, I mean, I'll learn to deal with it. Yeah, I'll be 90 and probably still doing this stuff, but it's okay. Oh, almost forget it. Now, from the continuous form template, we want to go to the computer template. First, because you have nicer curves, more precise shapes, so you want to you use the computer and then use the hard cardboard so you can later on put it on the forex, trace it, and then cut it. Okay, if I'm not clear enough, just stick with me, I'll show you how. Okay, so we switch to the computer part and we are using a vector graphics program. Uh, you can choose whatever you want, uh, whatever program you feel more most comfortable with. I use Adobe Flash. Okay, so what you want to do is just trace a line and make it the exact length of the line you have on your paper template. Well, let's say about 32. If you don't want to scan the template, you can put it beside on, on the screen. And while having the template on the screen, you can use the drawing tool, the free drawing tool. Okay, that's a basic shape. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> it's really ugly. But anyways, that's a start. After you've done the basic shape, you wanna take some measurements from your paper template and bring it to the real template. Here. And line here. Also. right here. Okay, so after you have lines, this one is useless for your template and so you can start making the, the more precise lines. Okay, I don't want to show you because it's boring, it takes time, I don't have it. So, you start from here and you get to this. That's your final result. That's just half of the template. Why is it only half? It's only half because I usually um, work symmetrical, so if I have half of the shoulder bell, I just need to print two copies of this, put them together, and then I'll have the full shoulder bell. Uh, this line right here, it's useful because it sits right at 18.5 centimeters from the start of the paper. Why is that? Because I have an A4 printer, just like most of you probably, and so my printer won't print a bigger size than a regular A4, and a regular A4 is about 21 times 29.7. But the printable area is just 20 times 28. So, by doing this, what I do is just select all this, get rid of the parts, unselect the parts that I don't need. Just copy, Ctrl C, Ctrl N, Ctrl J for the properties, select centimeters, and go dimensions 20 times 28. So that's my regular A4 paper. Ctrl V to pay to paste it, and that's my that's the first part of the shoulder bed. Take this, Ctrl G to group it, so you won't have problems while trying to make the 
make both parts fit on the same page. Looks like we made it. So you have both parts in one piece of paper, one sheet of paper, so you won't end up wasting any. You print it, and once you print it, I'll show you the rest. Next step. Okay, I got my paper template from the computer and now it's on cardboard right here. This is harder. It's 240 grams. Okay? That's his that's his uh, hardness or strength, whatever. As you saw before, I had to print two parts and then I taped them together so now I have the complete half shoulder belt. Okay, now I'll make you see real quick how to use the halves. Okay, let's, let's pretend. But it's not going to fit, but I don't care since I already cut it, I just want to show you. Okay, you push the template on your Sintra sheet. Trace it with your pencil all around. See? You got you got a half drawn, so you put a line so Alright. You go like this. Trace it again. And you have the the shape again. After this we use a cutter, simple cutter, to cut the shape and that's what comes out, alright? A nice shape of Sintra. That's a, a one millimeter Sintra and see it broke right here. Rejoice! Gosh, I hate this. Anyways, well, I guess that's all for today's video, for this week's video. Sorry for being late, but as you probably can hear, I'm still a little bit um, sick. My nose, it's kind of all uh, filled up with, well, you don't want to hear that, I'm sure. Okay, you guys take care and bye from me, Joe, and my nice green sweatshirt.